Hello, welcome back crafty friends. Um, this is Teresa from Teresa Craft Shack and this is the, I want to say, third, fourth, fifth installment maybe? I don't know. I lost track of how many. Um, we got all of this sewn in which took a lot. And it's probably a lot of laughing on my part. So if you want a good laugh and you haven't seen it, go watch it. Um, this time I am. So I'm going to show you guys how I did this. This is my little pocket. It is magnetic, if you can hear that. Um, and this is going to be going in there. It's, it's a three... pocket here and a pocket here and then it has this little back and it's gonna get stored in here so I'll put some photos in there um, so I'm gonna show you how I did that and um, I decorated this off of camera and if we have time I was gonna do the belly band that we put in so um, as I said, this is magnetic, and I love working with magnets. They are so fun. So, we're going to work on this one. Um, and what you do first is you have your flip part. So that's what this would be. And we're going to glue that on, and then we'll place the magnets in. And while I do this, I am going to take this pocket out so it lays a little bit flatter, easier to work with. There we go. And I just made a mess of everything up there. So, here we go. So I am going to, because we're going to glue it straight onto this. So I'm going to get some glue on here. And just in case it seeps through, which glue can totally do, um, I have a book page. And then I'm going to put glue on the edge of this. So it will. Um, do that and to make sure I don't get glue on that other part I'm just going to put a piece of cardstock down here just in case oh, there we go we're just going to wrap that in don't know where my thought I had a, I guess I lost it, well, we'll use a piece of fabric, <laughs> I thought I had a tissue um, thing around here for, alright, so, the next piece, what we're going to do is place our magnets, so, you don't want your magnet very close to the edge because when you do that you can um, it will you know slowly work its way off so um, I have these are the magnets I use I don't know if that will focus hopefully I'll focus on it um, and I bought these off of a magnet store years ago. I have no idea where. Um, if I can find the website, I'll put it on there. Um, but you can buy bulk magnets on Amazon. I don't use the scrapbook. The magnets are made for scrapbooking or paper crafts um, just because they're so expensive. And these are just little glue dots. Um, so I basically just put it on one end. 
pull that up, put it on the other side, and then I decide where I want to put it, and you want to keep, put it a little bit further down, and then just rub, and that should come off. We have magnets, and then um, if I am working on other stuff and I'm not ready to put paper on here, although we are going to put paper on here in a minute after I um, distress the edges, just put double-sided tape right on there and that will make it from being able to move. You just need to remember to take said tape off <laughs> when you are um, ready to glue, but there's your magnet. It's pretty easy. Simple, easy. I distressed most of my paper before I started this. I just didn't distress this part, so we're going to do that right now. I'm going to get on the inside of this a little because I'm going to be um, punching a hole. And I still have a, I don't, <laughs> I'm getting that, we're going to cover that up. <laughs> The learning that you do when you're making your first album, right? <sighs> okay, I just need to get this little bottom part. There we go. Okay, so let me get you guys back in frame for this top part so you can see what I'm doing. So what I do is take this off, and then this is the, gonna be the cover that goes on. So I'm just gonna glue it all. Glue the top. And depending on how, um, I sometimes will put glue on that. But this has a lot of glue, so I think it'll be okay not to put glue there. And then what I do is I match this top and the sides. And that's a little off. There we go. So, and now we're going to do this part and let me throw this away. We're going to put that one right about there and we're going to punch a hole in it. So whatever tag or pictures or whatever I put in there, it will, um, it'll work. So I use magnets a lot in crafting, um, especially in making, when I made mini albums, um, loved using magnets. And I'm actually finding a use for them when I'm making these, like this right here, it is, make sure I have it the right way. Um, I don't know if I'm in, yeah, I'm in camera. Alrighty. And I'm going to put this right in here so it doesn't get on there because that's a little bit of an overlay. And I cannot find my towel. 
I have a craft towels I use. This is just, did not get any. It's had a little bit of glue there. All right. So, there we go. That's how I do my magnets. Now I have a cute little pocket. But this needs a punch, so so it's easier to get them. So we're gonna use I don't there. Then get more. There we go. Done. They're not really cute. So, I don't know what I'll put in this one yet, but it turned out really cute. There you go. That's how I do my little magnet pockets. Um, and now, I think we have time. I'm going to decorate this belly band. Um, I have a bunch of stuff that I have out to do this, and um, I'm probably going to take a couple of these. This is a um, tags? What are these things? Tickets. <laughs> My brain. It's getting late. Um. I tend to record all these, try to record them at night when my family is sleeping because it is just so much easier with less distractions. So these are tickets that I made um, and if you guys want me to teach you how I made them, let me know below and I will gladly do a tutorial on them. They were really easy. Um, so I might make, use some of those on here. I don't know yet. So the way I normally start these is just, you know, add what I want. Randomly put them wherever. How cute. I think. I'm going to put that there. I want this at the bottom. Or that. It's not the cutest thing ever. I love these little kids playing. This apple doesn't work with everything, all of these being pumpkin items. <laughs> oh, I think I'm only going to do a couple of these ones. So, I also have these fun leaves, and these are from um, SEI. They are a scrapbook company I found, oh gosh, quite a while ago at a craft show I went to, and um, they have like the cutest stuff. They do kits, and so this was one of their kits that they did, um, and that's what I have. Hold on. I'm back. Sorry about that. My son was um, also taking advantage of the quiet house and playing some video games. <laughs> we don't normally let him stay up late to play video games, but we did. So, let's see, um, these are really big, oh, that would be really pretty right there, wouldn't it, that? Um, so I love that these have double-sided, oh, that is beautiful, I think I'm going to use that one. And, these are how they... Um, this is the company, um, and they have these beautiful backs that are just gorgeous. 
Um, I think some of these buttons would be fun. So look how pretty that back is. Some of this paper that I used actually came from them. So um, this paper was part of theirs and this paper was theirs. <laughs> so they have some really awesome and they have some pretty neat stickers. That might be fun to add. Oh, look at that owl. I think I'm going to add that owl and put it on. That is a beautiful owl. Reminds me of my mom. She loves owls. I give it a little bit of sturdiness. And I'm just going to cut that so it's not so hard to cut out. This is so adorable. Um, yeah, their stuff is so neat. And they have like monthly, they're basically scrapbooking kits and card making kits that they have. And um, I used to get them a lot. Like I did their scrapbooking and their card kit. And you'd get inks, you'd get, I mean, they had such neat, they have such neat stuff. I just hit a point where I couldn't um, afford it anymore. <laughs> so, but, and they're hard, like, you can't find them in stores. They're papers, but their papers are just gorgeous. So, there we go. Oh, that will look so cute. I think we're going to put the owl up on top. And then some cute kids with some leaves sticking out. That would be cute. And then I think we're going to do... Um, Part of that, and I think we're gonna put that on the. Yeah, I don't know if that's if I'm filling that right now. And we'll put that down there. I think we're gonna add some some fun leaves. What? This is driving me nuts. I need my hold on. Where did that go? Hold on while I find my stuff. Sorry about that. I found it. Um, helps keep my. I think we're I'm gonna have to make me another one when I'm working with this. Put one on one side. Put one on the other. Um, so, yeah, oh, so much easier to work on this now. It is, um, yeah. I'm a, I like to lay all of my stuff out before I start putting things down sometimes. Let's see. Awfully big, but I think I'm gonna get rid of that little. Put this right here and right there. 
There we go. I like that. And then have these cute little ones. And Buttons. I just don't know where I want said button. I think we're going to put a button down over here somewhere. I think I'm going to tear this and use this. Okay, I like that. I think we're just going to keep with the one. Unless I'd rather use this at the bottom. No, I can always put that elsewhere in the thing. Okay, time to glue. I like that setup. So for me, this has some fabric, <laughs> um, so you kind of have to be careful on the, yeah, let's put that right in there, on there we go. I have no idea what that is, probably fireworks. Knowing where I live, they have a tendency to do that. I crazily like that. I wasn't going to do that, but heck, it works. Here we go. So I have a feeling next time I'm going to have to do a lot of this before I put them on some of it uh, before I sew in the signatures maybe I don't know if I see it getting thicker and harder to work on but it's really not a whole lot more like well there is some bulk okay I'm gonna put this in there so it doesn't get on that page there we go Okay, so I said I wasn't going to add lace. Like, apparently I lied because I have lace right there. So sometimes it grows on me. I am not a lace person. Maybe someday. It'll completely. <laughs> Let's see. I'm wondering if I want this. I need to get this all darker. I'm 
not fond of the whites <laughs> showing. there's a benefit with working on a belly band. Kind of growing attached to making these. I think I want something different right there. I don't know if I have any more fabric. I'm going to have this, but... No. I don't know, maybe I'll see if I can find some washi tape. I just lost what I was going to put on there. And making a mess at the same time. That might look really cute. Well, maybe that mess I just made of everything turned out good. <laughs> oh, those are fun. I'm going to have to use those. Okay, well, I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. Found it. Here we go. That would be really cute. Okay, let's put something in there. Oh, that just adds. I love that. Okay, that, that throwing everything <laughs> turned out really good. I think I might put two of those right there. Those are really cute. Instead of the button. I don't know, I might use the button further down. Yeah, I want this a little lighter. So. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. To add a little glue on there just in case. That adhesive is old because I have had these for quite a long time. It's been years. Here we go. That looks good. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is move this. And then I'm going to attach it right there. Then add everything else on there. There we go. And now we will just completely glue this down. A very big
there we go there's the belly band so um, I will be back with another tutorial and a little bit more decorating um, I don't know what I'll I'll probably do quite a bit of it off camera and do some on um, we will see I know I have pockets for the front and back and those I will I'll do one off camera and one on camera and go from there I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day crafting and or wherever you go um see you on the next bye